Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the most useful scratch algorithms you can use on, for example, my scratch cat. In fact, um, we need to change that in the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And let's get on with the video. So first of all, let's just get rid of the scratch cat. Okay, that looks a lot better. Of course, you should follow exactly what it says. So let's subscribe. So I'll give you, let's say, two seconds to subscribe right now before I can press on the code button. Okay, I think that's enough. So if you did it, then don't forget to like. And let's actually get started with the algorithms. So the first algorithm I want to show you guys is the change size by and this algorithm, which basically allows something to smoothly change size. So if we run this algorithm and, for example, set the size of the subscribe button to like 200, you can see it smoothly goes back to 100. And you can change the smoothness by changing this number. So the lower the number, the smoother it'll be. So 0 0.05 will give you something really smooth. So look at that. It takes so long. And let's say 0 0.2 or maybe 4 will get it quicker. As you can see, it quickly becomes lower. So we could use this in, for example, an if else. And if we can copy paste that, you can make the subscribe get it. Uh, you can, okay. And then you can copy paste that to the bottom and you can make the subscribe button a little bit larger when you hover over it, when it's touching the mouse pointer. So if you do that, you can see it makes such a nice button. You really want to click on it. And then the next algorithm is a swinging algorithm which lets the subscribe button tilt from left to right smoothly so if i just plug that in you can see that the subscribe button is now tilting and i, I really 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 want to touch that subscribe button it, it looks so nice and this is actually really useful in buttons i actually put this in the wrong place so now this looks really nice to click on but if you do that it could look a bit weird and then the next algorithm is a pointing towards algorithm. So if you just swap that point in direction for an X and Y algorithm, for example, point towards this direction, then let's say if you, you can have it point towards your mouse X and mouse Y. So right now the subscribe button is just pointing to me. This could be useful in like top down shooter games, like where zombies follow you or something. I don't know, you can just experiment with it. So we'll put the swing back in. And I'll give you a second to copy down what the point toward algorithm looks like. It uses an ATAN block, so don't forget to use ATAN instead of just the normal TAN. You don't need to make the X and Y, you could just use the normal X and Y positions. So like, for example, if I want it to go to 128, you don't need this block, you can just put 128 there. So last but definitely not least is the move off screen algorithm which is used to allow objects to go off screen by making it larger and then smaller again. So for example, we put a set size to 10,000, which is a very large number. Of course, there's a limit to how big something can be and set size to 100 again. Now, this may not have done anything, but then if I plug in an algorithm that you don't need to copy down that moves the subscribe button off the screen, you can clearly see it can go off screen on its own. And uh, this is kind of like a game. You, you need to try and catch it. Come back here. <laughs> this is funny. And then you can see if I remove that algorithm and just let it go up, then it makes this annoying thing on the top where it gets stuck. And that looks really ugly, especially in games where you have to scroll to the side or in shops of clicker games. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to like, subscribe and share, just like it says over here. And I'll see you in the next one.